It's been busy out here in the tropics recently. Of course, we've been tracking multiple back-to-back -back tropical systems. It feels like you haven't had much of a break in the Philippines over towards Vietnam. And there's another area here just around Guam that's moving off towards the west. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Always do my best to keep you informed, educated, so you can make proper choices. My goal is never to hype, but uh, just to kind of relay the weather information that's already been put out there by these official agencies. And you can see here the ECMWF guidance continuing to try to show an area of low pressure moving towards northern Luzon. Yeah, that could definitely increase rainfall there at the very least, but some guidance has been even stronger, showing a mm, potential tropical storm to maybe even a typhoon. According to GFS, they've been rather aggressive on this area. And you can see here, this is on our Wednesday over towards Thursday, and then the Friday, another look from the ECMWF showing this coming on shore there in northeastern Luzon. I know you're still recovering from Nando out across these areas. The last thing you need is yet another tropical system. So I absolutely understand the worry and kind of the fear from another system on top of what we have been continuing to see here. So let's uh, take a look actually at the broader picture and give you a kind of a view of what we're seeing here. So first off, here is Opong still moving on shore into northern Vietnam over towards Laos there. But then you have the other area back here towards the east, right around uh, Guam. Kind of forming up on the tail end of a front, believe it or not, attached to Nagori, right like that. And then you have your area right there. Another area convection kind of developing off of that. You have the subtropical ridge just towards the north of it, which is important to note because that subtropical ridge is going to be the steering factor, not allowing this to churn and basically become a recurve type of scenario. So as that develops, it's going to move into the Philippine Sea. And if time has told us anything over the past, what, several weeks uh the philippine sea is conducive for tropical cyclone development the, the shear has been down there's plenty of moisture and definitely that potential for uh, a system to form up here this is the ecmwf showing by friday evening a system coming on shore just around cagayan there into northeastern luzon and then we look at the gfs a very similar output moving over the batanas islands and the babuan islands yeah, they are still recovering flights, not really going in and out of there following Nando. The last thing they need is another storm system, and this would only be four or five days from now. So if something did form up, the likelihood of this escalating quickly is definitely very real and very much in the forefront and we can even see here according to the climate prediction center they do say as we start off october a very high chance of something developing here in the philippine sea and then you take a look at our guidance now this is uh, basically just the ensembles here courtesy of weathernerds.org you can see the ensembles with invest 93w showing this moving off towards the west and into northeastern luzon based on the gfs and the ecmwf the point is there is mounting evidence on top of evidence that we are going to see a new system develop out here and i want to make sure that people are not surprised if anything from Opong taught us anything, especially in the Philippines, is that if the storm is not a full-on super typhoon, a lot of times people tend to, uh, I don't want to generalize because not everybody, and you're watching this update right now and you probably are the informed batch of people, but uh, people tend to just kind of shake it off and I get it, storms happen all the time out here, I understand, I've been covering this for many, many years, uh, but there's a difference between uh ignoring the problem and, uh, and and blissfully just kind of being like yeah it's not gonna hit here and, and the other thing is that a lot of times people and, and this is the problem around the world people tend to only be side impacted by some of these storms sometimes you know like for example if if a full-on super typhoon hits 50 kilometers north of you you're not getting that super typhoon i'm telling you that right now you're probably getting cat one cat two type winds or maybe even tropical storm strength winds because the core of these storms are where the destruction is and that only is about a kilometer too wide in many cases uh not every case some storms they defy logic right but and I, and I think sometimes, especially with the case, of, and you see the graphic below me, I keep that up because I want to remind you guys that, you know, the last storm with Opong, 
it shifted only like 50 kilometers, but it made a massive difference in the forecast. And a lot of people are like, well, they they, they were saying, well, we're going to get through this. It's just going to pass towards, I don't know. And I think a lot of you understand what I'm getting with this. Take each storm seriously. Don't panic. Anyways, one of our sponsors that helps support this channel is Front Runner Financial Consultancy. They're an uh, international-based um, accountant firm. So if you need to do your taxes and you live in one country, but you're visiting another country or you're living or overseas or something or another, hey, check them out. They, uh, they've they helped me out over the years, and uh, I think that's something that you can uh, just check out. Anyways, hey, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Like I said, I'm not trying to hype, panic anybody, but I do think we need to start uh, watching this next area because it could spin up quickly here in the western pacific oh one last thing i know i said yesterday's video was going to be bouncing uh looks like i'm still here that tropical system in the atlantic imelda is garbage <laughs> and it's staying offshore of the east coast so no need for me to go chase it down but i'll still be venturing around along the coast today just videotaping high waves and things like that so you can follow me on socials if you're curious anyways stay safe out there